Well, let's, uh, let's move on to cleanse our palate right? then. Uh, yes, this is the Mortlock. So this is the, yeah, see, I can't figure out which way to go. Mortlock Fault Line, a Fault Line independent bottler, 1995 first fill sherry butt bottle, uh, bottle number 299 from cask 7301, if you're really following along, trying to get a bingo. 22 year old, 53.3%. I love the image on the bottle. That's really Me artistic. Too. And yeah, the little, the little kind line. of. It looks like a like a uh, the like cover of a cool fantasy novel. It does. It tells a story, doesn't it? It like you're you're through. about to go on a journey right now. I feel like it's a gateway into some magical forest land. Like you walk through the tree that's open, and you oh, end up in like you know a land of realm? forest. I hope so. Gosh. Um, I hope spe so. Uh, speaking of, I, I just want to point out this is the map. This here. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, this, this is week. from a game of some sort, and if people can guess what game it is, this one's pretty obscure. So we'll see if if anyone gets it. I know that this, one's the Scotch Whiskey Experience map. It is, yeah, and it has all the different regions. Really cool. The Scotch Whiskey Experience we've talked about several times on the show, and I'll show a little bit more of this map. It has, it has all these little runes on it and locations that are. This is this is very old school. Anyway. I mean, it, it is. And I want everyone to know that I know what this is. I guess <laughs> immediately, but for your sake. I'm gonna right, let you guys right. guess it. Yeah, that's very it nice is, of you, Lori. It's very altruistic uh, of you. <laughs> Thank you. L Lori is really into games that were made before she was born. <laughs> yeah, that's. I'm gonna say that's my expertise. Yes. Wow. <laughs> very specific. I like. I love it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's get into this. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Ooh. Oh, oh. There's like a like a honeyness, like a, like a, it's a different kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. It's much yeah. sweeter on the nose. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice, but it's got, I don't know, it's got like a very specific flavor profile to it. Like, uh, mm. yeah, it's like, much darker than the previous one. This is a first fill sherry butt. So it's got a lot mm. of, a lot of color from that previous sherry fill. Yeah, the other one was like a like a cherry, you know, like a um like a cherry um snow cone. This is like cherry's jubilee or something where it's like yeah. a really like it yeah, roasted cherries that were roasted by some French chef or something. Oh yeah. boy. A little bit of cream brulee in there, I think. Mm, oh that, yeah, that it definitely oh. is like uh, there's a rich dessert here. It feels mm -hmm. more decadent. I'm so excited to taste this. I'm gonna taste it. Go ahead. Okay. I would say go for it. Yeah. Mm. Now that's that is less surprising in flavor. It is the, exactly what you think you're gonna get. Yeah. Like it's almost thicker, I'll say. Like the thickness is lovely. It it tastes nice and oily. Um, yeah. Yeah, on the mouth. Um not like olive oil, but just um, this is so less dense than olive oil. <laughs> this is yeah. so nice, and um, uh, the experience before was so uneven that I'm afraid to put water in this. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm. It's like it's you like you don't have to. No one yeah, has to put water. You don't have to, but it's like it's like oh, this Mona Lisa would look really great on a T-shirt. <laughs> you know I mean? <laughs> we should just see it. We should see what it looks like. This is nice. I really like this. Just because it's so good, I'm going to take a few more sips before I add water, just yep. in case. Yep. I'm going to pour a little bit more. And, and again, um, only one of us really has to add the water for the science. Um, oh, yeah, so you don't have to if you don't, to if you don't want to. Don't one, want either to. Andrew or I will do it, so yeah. you don't have to. That's a great idea. I usually but make I Andrew never... do it because he has the bigger bottles at his house. <laughs> yeah. I, I can also go back to the bottle. There's, There's more. more. There's more. Oh, that's true. So they actually, you should be the one. To Occasionally, I will take the bullet because I don't want him to. I mean, it's, again, it's sometimes the guest just says, "I want to try water in this," or Joseph says, "I want to try," it, and it's like, "Yeah,", yeah. and it could be so up. good. Yeah, and so oftentimes I go, "I don't I want to," and then they like taste the it. And they're like, "I like oh, the so legs good. of this too." Like, I yeah. mean, I'm not. I don't. We don't generally look at the legs, but I like. I don't know. I like them. Anyway, don't let the legs tell us. So, Lori, where are you from? I I don't know much about you. Is that true? Um, oh, I kind I, I kind of am... maybe have an idea that you're from somewhere, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say. Yeah, I have I'm an from... idea that you might be from somewhere as well. I'm pretty sure you're from mm. somewhere. I am from nowhere. I am. <laughs> that that is true. That you I'm just gonna like, reveal to that. You wow. just spontaneously created yourself. Like now, uh, were you in the middle like of Dr. nowhere? Manhattan or were you on the after he, after he was disintegrated? You just like. <laughs> 
I just came into being and I was like, oh, this is good. Wow, this is nice. Mm -hmm. um, I am from Easley, South Carolina. Um, in local areas, it's known as Sleazley Easley. So pretty nice. Pretty nice oh. town. Uh -huh. We are um, we're known for um, uh, our mascot, oddly. This is very odd, but- Is this a town mascot? Our mascot for that. So there's one high school in the town, one middle school in the town, like it's that kind of town. So um, we were the green wave, even though we're in the foothills of the Appalachians, like nowhere near the beach, but we were the green wave. And then all these years later, I met Paul Vanosik from the middle of Minnesota and his mascot in his little small town of East Grand Forks was the green wave. Wow. Isn't that, weird? Isn't that obscure and weird? And Does now, the green wave not yeah. mean an actual wave? Was it yeah. like a it means an metaphor actual, for the hills? No, mm -mm. it was an actual wave and that was the mascot. We had a couple of people really like cool, brave humans that were like, I will be the wave, I'll be the mascot. And it, it never totally worked um, because what is, how can you be a wave? But was yeah. there a costume? Yeah, there were like different iterations of the costume. Um, which, now, if there, there, if there are two green waves, that must mean that, that that must mean something, or there must be some sort of connection. Like, well, that just seems like such a specific odd thing, isn't it? It's so weird. It's so bizarre. And so, Paul's dad for uh, Christmas gave me a green wave sweatshirt from their hometown. It was absolutely adorable. And yeah, but yeah. It's so random. Yeah, what is it? So yeah, that's that's easily. It was the most adorable place ever to grow up um and, and now you guys are married you and paul so so i mean you could say the wave brought the us wave. together they crashed yeah. together yeah. yeah exactly if they you have the same together. mascot as someone then you're <laughs> destined it's that's that is the Destiny. only metric you need to find your soulmate <laughs> i mean you heard it here first folks. Yeah. first so and probably the last time you'll hear it yeah, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I've heard that you know, okay, Cupid now has a new dating profile question, which is they just match you up based on your your high school mascots. There's plenty yeah. of data points to support that in mm -hmm. this conversation. Yeah, I mean, look, a lot of people get together for a, a variety of reasons. That could be one of them. It really could be, right? Who knows? Um, where are each of you from? Do I get to ask questions too on this? Oh, yeah, no. sure. No, there's no questions. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Uh, of course, yeah. I'm I'm a Canadian. I was born in Montreal, grew up in Calgary, worked in Toronto, and then moved down to California because uh, I was done with my winters. Didn't want any more winters. You were done. Yeah, that is yeah. so cool, though. I've always wanted to go to Montreal. So, have badly. you been to Canada much? I've never. I've never been. Oh. I, I love Canada. Yeah. It's a great country. As soon as this is over, it's definitely on my list. It's on my like top five list. I would say. Yeah, you should check out the French Festival in Edmonton. It's really cool. Mm. Too. I would love that. You, you know what? It's, You're it's, the third person that's told me that. It's one of the best that. fringe festivals, I think, in the world. Like Edinburgh is the big one, but Ed Edmonton is like, I, I, I think it's a really great fringe. What yeah. makes it so fun? Um, Canadians mostly, and they're just like they're. I mean, they're they are. Lovely. They're super. They're just they're su it's yeah. just it's. They've been doing it a long time. They know what they're doing. They're super supportive of the arts. Um, there's a lot of just, you know, a really like there's stuff going on all the time. Great food. It, it's yeah. just a cool, yeah, it's cool. It's I think cool that's fringe. one of the great things about the Edmonton fringe is it does get so much support from, uh, people in that area and yeah. it, it's just a big festival and it's very successful in Edmonton. So it's about the only good thing about Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> Are you I, um, originally from Calgary? Is I'm, that what you're yeah, saying? I grew that? up in Calgary. So yeah, I have a there's this weird rivalry between yeah. Calgary and Edmonton where they, they just hate it. They're both out from Alberta, but it's like Alberta is great, but not Calgary and vice versa. Like, yeah. it's weird. I, I know some very lovely people from Edmonton and that, that I, I feel <laughs> sorry for them every day. You feel sorry, sorry for them. Sorry. sorry for them. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> Oops. Um, yeah, uh, ridiculous. I'm gonna build, I want to. I feel like I should build a house in this, but I don't want to. I don't want to force it. I usually build a house in the nose. Like when I smell it, I, I decide what sort of house it would be. Oh, oh. But I feel like this would be a, a cottage um, with uh, like um, like a wood fired. I think a wood fired uh, pizza oven. Ooh. That's what I think. 
I smell wool um, in the nose. Like there's wool blankets strewn around. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, there that's might even amazing. be some might even be some sheep. <laughs> maybe a shepherd. <laughs> maybe a shepherd lives in here. I'm, I'm gonna say a shepherd. A shepherd feels right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just sweaty enough, right? <laughs> How sweaty is too sweaty? <laughs> There's a fine line. Just sweaty enough, though. We might figure it out. Yeah. We might figure it out. If we yeah. if we get too sweaty, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Joseph, what, yeah, where are you from originally? I'm, I'm from Portland, Oregon, the Pacific Northwest. Ah, love. Uh, the That's city right. of roses. Um, yeah, I grew up there. And uh, so, you know, because now we're, because we all live in California, in case people didn't know that. But it's, yeah. Um, People are like, oh, I love it when it rains. And I'm like, yeah, I've had enough rain. Like, I, <laughs> like I've met my You're quota done. for my lifetime. You've done enough. And yeah. you were in Atlanta for a while, right? I did. I moved to Atlanta and founded a theater there with some guys from FSU called Dad's Garage Theater. It's still going on. They're doing like, uh, they just did like a, a segment. Like, they've been interviewing the founders. You can watch it on their website, uh, which is so some, cool. Yeah, you can watch us all talk about how we all kind of went and built this theater in Atlanta. And uh, I think they're doing it this week. They're still, they're doing it every week. They're doing like a little, oh, a little fun. interview series with John Carr, who is the current artistic director, the super talented guy. I was really excited when he got uh, hired. Um, so yeah. I, um, so, so because I went to college in Clemson, I did improv there. We would drive down to Atlanta and, and watch shows at Dad's Garage. Are you so, kidding me? Yeah, I know. I'm not kidding you. It's, um, I thought it was amazing and I loved it. So it's um, so I found that out actually at your um, at your roast at your birthday roast because um, <laughs> I was like wait a minute what and it's just so weird when your worlds converge yeah. because I had sort of watched that from a distance just as like a fan I was very distant from it so I just think that's so random and cool oh that's that's awesome. like when when did you go like what time frame like what do you think it like probably two thousand like six maybe seven right 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 Is that would that been in, right would that be around the right time well i mean it's been going on since the mid 90s that's when we founded it so yeah, i would not have been there at that point you like, wouldn't okay. would not have been there but uh, it doesn't matter there was a lot of talented people doing stuff still so so um, cool. and, and even now yeah it's funny because my wife ash she also like when i met her uh, she was she's from atlanta and she's like yeah i used to go to shows at dad's garage and so yeah it's just yeah and then of course we had the same mascot as kids so. yes exactly i, I mean heart, I, yeah. I hope so i we, hope so we had, that was like number one it was like what's your mascot and it was like oh it's, <laughs> it's a purple purple wave and we're like yeah purple waves <laughs> thank goodness yeah. i'm really I, everything's gonna be fine thank I goodness think so. I think so. <laughs> mm. so i'm divorced and i i think one of the problems is now that i think back is that uh my mascot was dino the dinosaur and hers was the uh, Ryerson uh, fighting fireman. Oh gosh, I mean that's extremely incompatible. Yeah. That's like that's like having like a Libra dating a Sagittarius, and I'm just making was, them up because I don't know if they have those. Words. I am a Libra. She <laughs> was a Sagittarius. Wow, there you go. Wow, wow I'm a Sagittarius. Wow. Is this show going to survive? I don't know. Uh, I mean, you know what? I'm sure That's it's true. different, right? When you're co-host. Yes. Co yeah, and then it's good. You totally want a little different. bit of, you know, yeah, a little bit a little of friction. Tension. And there's yeah. so much friction between us. <laughs> yeah. Secretly, Andrew's just like, if I have to put more water in this, this <laughs> if that's my job from now on. <laughs> uh, why does he always make me put water in? <laughs> um, I would say don't put water in this. Um, okay. okay. It, it okay. kind of broke up the nose and in in the taste the the lovely patterns that were there kind of broke apart so it's not bad it's just i think it's better without water thank you for All taking right. one for the team yeah thanks no problem 